Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video is going to be how to fully strip the Scorpion Evo. Um, the reason I want to do this is because it needs maintenance inside the gearbox as well. I just want to make sure it's still got the lubricant in the right places, there's no wear and tear on the gears, the teeth, the piston, you know, and, and get all that grease and silicon oil back in the right place. Keep it nice, keep it fresh, and I might as well do a video on it while I'm doing it. So the first thing we need to do is remove the rear stock. To one side. Then remove the front end. Careful when you move the front end because the, um, the charging handle spring will fly out. On this one I've got the um, Ace Tech stopper so it stops out of them. Put that to one side. Then we're going to we need to remove the spring. Get your Allen key, push it in, twist and just release that like that. So we've got a bearing a bearing guide there and the upgraded spring there. I'm going to start taking the shell off now. So to do that it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. This one is the middle size, you've got four the same size across the top, and these two are the longest. Once you've took those out, you want to flip over your gun and keep a hold onto your, your dust cover plate there. And then get your Allen key, put it in one end. I'm just going to turn this around to make it a bit easier. Like that. Keep your finger on there. Wiggle up and pull up the other side. Like that. Remove that. Then you've got a spring which is just located inside here. Put your finger on that and pull up, pull the cover off in one. So you've got the spring, the spring guide and the cover all in one go. Keep it all in your magnetic dish if you have one. If not, keep it safe. So they can go to one side, that can go to one side. Push your pin out, remove your hop unit, in this one we've got the CNC. Put that to one side. And then there's two screws on the base plate where the motor is. These are two millimeter Allen keys. So you want to just undo those. them in your pot, grab some pliers, and just wiggle your base off like so. Then you might need a pair of tweezers for this part. So just grab some tweezers and just lift off your motor connections. You've got a red one and a black one. Lift out your motor and you'll notice on your motor you've got a little red dot on one of the uh, prongs that obviously shows you for which side is which. Just give the motor an inspection and you can see the teeth on that are really good. And this is the 30k CNC ultimate upgraded motor. I'm just going to put that to one side. Try and put it somewhere safe that it's not going to attract any, any dirt or anything like that. So what I'll tend to do just chuck it in a bag where I know it's not going to pick any iron filings up or anything like that. Put that to one side. Now your motor's out, you'll see four screws inside. You need to remove all four of those screws. To do that, you'll need the 2mm Allen key again. OK, 
Okay, so once you've took all four of those screws out, just lift up your handle, the grip, and gently ease the wires out. Like that. It is a bit fiddly, but we don't want to break it, so just take your time. Four screws will remain inside, just leave them inside there. So now we're at this stage here. So, our next one we need to remove is this tiny screw just under here. That's your two millimeter Allen key again. There's a hole just there. So, you put your Allen key through the hole. And undo your, undo that small screw. That one normally is a bit smaller. Um, in mine, it's not. It's uh, the same size. But if you get them standard, they are smaller. So now we're just going to lift off the gearbox like that, and put this body to one side. We don't need that anymore. So the next step we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to take the selector off. So this is a selector me mechanism. It'll be a two millimeter Allen key. Again, just undo it. Hold the other side while you're undoing it. Like so, and then just put it back together. with your small little bolt holding that together. Put that in your pot, that's done. Next stage is we have this that we have to slide off. Um, so to do that, we just literally, you've got to be really careful with this trigger on this point. I've done it in the past where I've, I've lent on it and I've broke the board. It was this board. I broke the micro switch. So, learn by your mistakes, and that was a bad mistake to make. So yeah, just be very careful with this trigger. So to get this plate off, all you're gonna wanna do is get a screwdriver, something like that, and just force it off like that, and slide it out. Next step we've got is one, two, three, four, five, six, two millimeter screws again. So we're going to remove these. This one here is holding in the anti reversal latch, which is inside here so when you take this off it is just going to ping off but i'll show you how to get that back in um yeah they're all the same size apart from this top one this top one is the small one that's the only one which i'll show you when we've done it before you fully undone all these screws there's um you want to turn your gears inside until they let the nozzle release forward and then everything's relaxed inside the gearbox. So all your screws are out of the box now. The smaller one is this one that I was talking about. This smaller one goes at the top there. That's the only one that's different. So you try it to one side. Now you want to gently prise open this box. So we're going to put our finger on the cylinder, all right? And we're just going to ease up gently on this. Move them wires off there. You can take them away. 
like that. Let them loose. So ease up on it gently. And it's a good idea to have your two mil Allen key and just push down on your gears through the bearings. Just remember on all of these bearings there is shims. So we don't want to lose them, we don't want to get them mixed up. So flick that over like that. Now your gearbox is open. So as you can see down here, this is the anti-reversal latch I was talking about. These don't come standard in the Evo, these have been put in the Evo. So that's an ultimate anti-reversal latch, AS3 ultimate. Put that to one side, we'll need that later. And now you can go ahead, release this spring here. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see. So release this spring here. You can see, just hold there and pull it off with your tweezers like that and let that loose. Now push in your nozzle like that and then we can lift out the cylinder and the whole mechanism like that, put that to one side. Now remember not to lose your shims on your gears. There's loads of videos out there, how to shim your gearbox. Um, I will put it in a video one of these days, but at the minute, if you need to know, I think there's a YouTube channel, Airsoft Tech, and he's really good. He shows you in depth how to do it. And that's actually who I learnt off how to do it. So if you need to know how to do that, just go and visit that channel. So we're going to grab our gears. Keeping the shims all together, like that. So this is your sector gear, and it's a 16 to 1 ratio, ultimate set, and it's been short stroked. I'm just going to put that to one side. Then we've got the bevel gear, which is this one. to one side again make sure not to lose everything then we've got the spur gear which is this one let's put that to one side and in this one we've got the the newest ecu one piece uh, that was because i broke the other one and i had to replace it so that's why i've got that uh once you've done that you want to replace well take out your trigger it's dead easy just lifts up and that is a CNC short stroke trigger for the Scorpion Evo. Pull that to one side, don't lose the spring that comes with it. And then we've got a tiny, tiny screw on here. I can't remember what the size is, I think it's 1.5. No it ain't, my bad. It's actually across the Phillips one. That screw is tiny, so don't lose that, as you can see it. And then you've got one more screw just in there. Again, that screw is tiny, don't lose that one. Put that in your pot. And now we're just going to lift out this trigger board nice and gently. This has got all your micro switches on. We'll do the same again. I'm going to put this in a bag, keep it nice and clean, and just 
put that to one side somewhere where it's not going to get damaged so what you're left with now is inside your gearbox where you've got your select switch that can just slide off there you go there all that's left inside this gearbox now is your bearings um so these are the ultimate asg ultimate bearings bearing set um as you can see so what you want to do is take this over you can do it in the kitchen sink and just give it a really good clean um make sure you get all this gunk grease everything out okay guys so that's the that's the end of this video um it's going to be part one i'm going to do part two which is cleaning all the components and i'll do that in a separate video and then we've got the third part which is reassembling everything and putting it back together so like and subscribe and thanks for watching i hope you find this useful and i'll see you in part two thanks again